morning everyone and welcome to your very own virtual sunrise safari my name is Amy and behind the camera with me is of course Panda and we are heading out and about this morning uh, to see what we can find for you all we're starting off with a beautiful sunrise here on another day out in the African bush and I cannot wait to get out there and see what we can find for you all so hop on let's get going Our first sighting for the day is this little mixed herd of antelope everyone we've got some female kudu as well as some impalas and they are quietly grazing and browsing here on the beautiful open plains in the background you can hear some hornbills calling you can watch that male impala here feeding on oh he's just moved <laughs> Oh, he chased off the kudu. <laughs> Sorry, my boy, those are the wrong ladies. You're not going to get it right with them. <laughs> that sort of herding behavior is what a male would generally do to a group of females that he wants to mate with at this time of the year. It is rutting season, mating season for impalas. These kudus have moved a little bit further towards the sunrise, everyone, and wow, what a magical sight. We talk about sunrise and sunset being special times of the day. And the lighting at the moment is showing us why. can see her constant alertness even while she's feeding she hears anything that may concern her or be a potential threat her head is up her ears are listening trying to capture all the sounds she can just look at that everyone absolutely beautiful exhaling wow there's a hyena this morning as well moving across these very same plains and there's actually two of them I'm not sure who we have here. I'm sure they may be members of the Juma clan. There are actually three of them. The one was just ahead and they're on... Oh, there we go. You can see the third one popping out there. They're on the end of their nightly activities. But it is lovely and cool, everyone. I think that is June in the front. Looks like it. She's got June the balloon this morning. <laughs> the very round belly. And that floppy left ear. Yes, I believe that is indeed June, and she has got another balloon in her belly. I love the way our hyenas walk. They've got such a swagger to them. Because of the cooler temperature, it makes sense that these hyenas are still out and about. 
clearly got hold of something last night, or at least June did. Her belly is huge. They've now cut off just at the edge of these open plains, which are known as quarantine, and headed down into this drainage line. So unfortunately, we have lost them for the morning, but they may pop out on another road a little bit further on. Who knows? Hyenas just follow their noses and their ears most of the time. Uh, but a lovely little cameo to our start this morning. Well, we have found a pair of crested barbets here, everyone. They are such pretty birds, lots of different colours. They've got a bit of a of a hairstyle on their head, hence the name crested barbet. How cool is this? Look at those colors. It really is a beautifully colored bird. So unique. Sort of these pale red markings, sort of a, a lime green color on its side and then that bright red spot just above its tail. It also has spots of black and white all over. All right, everyone, we have had a fantastic morning out and about in the bush, and it has been special all the way from that first sunrise and that beautiful scene with the impalas and the kudus to the surprise hyenas popping up there in the plains, and then a little bit later on enjoying some birding and also enjoying some elephants along the way. We hope that you enjoyed it with us, and we'll see you again next time.